a celebration of love celebration of some kind sometimes it's life but for the most part it's about marriage celebrating a union between two people you see that and i strongly feel here as though she's going to put stories out Hi everyone, welcome back to No Light Tara. My name is Holly. So grateful to have you all. So let's get right into the reading. I'm so excited to be doing this. Um, I decided to do this on my own accord because a lot of you know, a lot of you who watch me, I'm so grateful, know that I've been almost 100% accurate in the Harry and Olivia situation, drama, saga, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I have been accurate and I said that people would be coming forward, I've been accurate about different things, but I did say people would be coming forward, um, speaking out against Olivia, and recently her nanny just came out, former nana, a nanny, and alleges that Olivia was not so nice to her, so let's see what's going on with that, please like the video, um, subscribe, comment, I re really, really love your comments, so please keep them coming. Uh, yeah, so let's get into it. I'm just looking to the side. I know sometimes when I look at the video, when I replay my own videos, I'm like, it looks kind of weird that I'm looking to the side. But I just look to the side to see if I'm still on the monitor. Because it used to be like halfway. So I just want to make sure that I'm still in the box. Okay, dokie. So please like, subscribe. Also, if you want to become a member, it's $4.99 a month. You get free access well early access to videos you also get a chance to win a tarot reading every month i draw a winner and you also i'm going to start doing lives um yeah so four members only i did the give i said the giveaway oh you also get first choice on a recommendations requests so yeah just putting it out there's really really worth it i am adding another tier so please comment if you'd like to hear any other things too okie dokie so I decided this is who is coming forward what stories are going to come forward about Olivia um, and I have predicted that I strongly see them breaking up I recently saw 2023 um, when they're gonna break up with somebody wrote in the comment section that's so far away but it's not you know and it's his life it's Harry Styles life he can do whatever he wants he is being very manipulated so just keep that in mind okay okay so I did you know, I'm doing next video because I record a bunch of videos at a time, but I release them daily. I'm about to, after this, record an update on Jason and Olivia. So please stay tuned because I was also accurate about that. If what the nanny alleges is true, I was accurate in that I said that Jason found it very difficult when they broke up, poor thing, and he was almost blindsided. And he felt like um, he still wants to win her back. That's what I strongly feel. Okay, so this is intuitive base. It's not fact base. I pulled five cards in the beginning just to draw the energy. And I'm going to start with the first. Let's start with the first two cards. I'm going to really draw this out. And I really want to get into depth. I know because a lot of you have been requesting for longer videos. So I really want, um, I've even taken time from my life, from my personal life and stuff like that to make sure that I bring you quality videos. So please subscribe, guys. It means so much to me. Um, yeah, so, and like the video <laughs> and share. So with the chariot and ace of, eight of wands, excuse me, I sense, and I have sensed this for a while, that Harry kind of wants to move on. Um, but it's almost like she's like, no, she, it's like she has a stamp on him. I just got like a stamp. I don't know why stamp. But with four ones and shadow work, it seems, okay, four of ones is usually associated with marriage or a celebration of love, celebration of some kind. Sometimes it's life, but for the most part, it's about marriage, celebrating a union between two people. You see that? And I strongly feel here as though she's going to put stories out into the public that they're getting married and i did say i was accurate about florence Pugh. i recommend looking at my florence Pugh videos with olivia i recommend looking at my shia labeouf videos with olivia i've been accurate a lot about her and it's funny because i didn't really know olivia wilde before 
all of you, well, those of you who requested it, requested the videos. I didn't really know anything really much about her. But I did um, pull up very dark energy. And I think that's why I got Shadow Work. Because there's some stuff she needs to heal from. We all do, you know. All of us need to be working on ourselves, no matter what. There's no such thing as somebody who thinks they're above doing the work. And if somebody says they are, run. <laughs> but what I got from her was this energy of the shadow side of pisces because the sun is in pisces and it's very strong pisces is ruled by neptune and jupiter and those two planets i feel like when they come together the shadow side of pisces is very strong and it's victimhood it's secrecy it's uh, manipulation of others which she's i believe very very good at um and I think she's gotten away with it because she lives in Hollywood and people have pumped her up to be this person, you know. But with Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, she's going to have to start doing the work for real. Because it's almost like House of Cards are going to start falling. And I was, um, there's somebody else that came forward that I was accurate about. But I strongly see it's just the beginning of people coming forward. Um, oh yes, so back to my Florence Pugh. <laughs> Sometimes I talk on a tangent and forget what I was saying. But Florence Pugh came out and said, well she didn't come out and say, but it's been alluded and that they didn't get along. And I said that they weren't getting along. I had a very strong feeling there was disconnection. I feel like Florence's son is in Capricorn and I can relate to that so much because most of my chart is Aquarius in Capricorn, you know, that's Saturn energy um, and parts of Uranus, but mostly with the Saturn and she has some Aquarius too, I remember that, but when we're done with somebody, we're done. We don't like big drama, we don't like exaggeration, for example, I don't know if I should be telling this public story, <laughs> this private story in public. But I was, I wouldn't say seeing, but I was involved with this guy, uh, Leo, and just lots of drama, you know, very out there. And it's funny because I always say, you know, if I met my, um, I bet you if I dated a Leo, I did date a Leo in high school and he was so sweet, but this Leo has a lot of work to do. But anyways, in a nutshell, when we see drama, like somebody being overly dramatic, Things. I love to watch drama, don't get me wrong, but when it's drawn, brought to us, we're like, that's it, get out. <laughs> and that's what Florence did with Olivia. She could tell that she didn't mean well. She could tell that she didn't, um, she wasn't the mentor. She wasn't, yeah, she wasn't the mentor that she thought she would be. In fact, I think Florence realized that she is more mature than Olivia is. So, as I clarified, the moon, six of swords, and the chariot, chariot again. Lots of isolation. I think when these stories come out, if you can see she's like in the middle of some swords. I think when these stories start to come out, there's going to be, uh, four of wands again, king of cups. There's going to be, oh, so Jason is not done. So we're going to hear more stories about Jason pledging his love to her, um... Especially with the kid trial that they're going to have. I can't wait to do the update. Oh my gosh. With the kid trial that they're going through. Um, Queen of Pentacles. Four Pentacles. Two, one. Yeah. With the Queen trial that they're going. The kid. Oh, I said Queen trial. <laughs> She's <sighs> optimizing how much money she can get from Jason. A lot of it. I don't know what she does to these people. Why they feel like they need to speak out against her. But she. I don't think. Like I said before. I don't think she's very nice. And it's almost like, I've never met any, oh, no, that's not true. I have worked for another Pisces who has, embodies very similar traits. Sneaky, gossipy, likes to put people against each other. Um, I, you know, I generally, I have a lot of Pisces in my life that I love. But there's some that I've met and I'm like, I, they, they literally are like the devil. <laughs> And I'm getting similar energy here that she does people so wrong, four of swords, eight of one. She does people so wrong that they're like, I'm going to get you back one day. And this is how they get her back. They're going to the tabloids. So I would love to hear what you say. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching.
Take care.